Mainstream media news networks, all have the same third rail policy. No way no how, will they ever honestly report any Planet X system observations, whatsoever. That being said, this policy like any other, is subject to the occasional fluke. In other words, it's Murphy's Law. If anything can go wrong, it will. And in the case of NBC News, their affiliate in Sacramento, California. KCRA was that fluke. In a live pre-dawn telecast, on January 14th, the morning news anchors of this NBC News affiliate, KCRA in Sacramento, aired live video from their own news chopper. In it, they reported an observation of a planet they could not explain. Let's briefly view that broadcast. We are back. Stargazing. It is a celestial rock. Awakening. In space, if you will. Uh, Dirk, D oh, okay, Dirk, what is it? We're all like, it's, it's a planet? Is, is, is it the moon? Actually, what is it? Actually, we've been searching trying to find you in the newsroom because we know you know. Dirk, what is it? Well, I, that's interesting. I mean, I've been... I was, <laughs> <laughs> Is it, is it the moon? I don't know. You'd have to back up. I'd have to be outside to really see, but that looks like a point of light. But they, and if it's close to the sun where the sun's coming up, then more than likely that's... Uh, I can't believe that we could see Venus that close. But it is a planet, right, because it's not twinkling, or is that, is that a myth? No, I, I would say that that's a planet, yeah, but... It's I'd, Saturn. It's hard. Okay, Tamara wants in on this it. one. She's been Googling. <laughs> No, that can't be Saturn unless there's be. an eclipse going on. No, because you don't see Saturn as with a chunk taken out of it. Maybe that's the you only see on. You only see the moon uh, that have a chunk like that. And the only other planet that I know of that you see a chunk taken out of it like that would be Venus. Um, because it's on the inside planet. Uh, Saturn and Jupiter, they're all outside planets right. from And this, Earth, friends, and so is what it's like that. when you stop by the weather department <laughs> at any moment. Right. These yeah. are the kinds of conversations that but you will stumble into. I need to go outside and see it so Let's I can be sure what I'm looking at. Let's just send you up in the chopper at. so you can investigate properly. How oh, I'd that? love to. That Agreed. Would be great. Yeah, go up into the KCRA <laughs> observatory and get back to us. <laughs> Thank you, Dirk. All right. Okay. What our analysis will show is that the KCRA morning news anchors observe two planets via their live news helicopter feed specifically the planet venus eclipsing the planet nibiru after reviewing our findings you the viewer can then decide for yourself is the nbc news the first mainstream television network to unwillingly report on nibiru after we will present our analysis of this new report what is important to remember about this live pre-dawn report is that it was aired live what you see is a real-time feed from a news helicopter just after takeoff in the early morning well before sunrise to illustrate the key points let's review a series of video frames taken from this news report here you see that the cameraman is imaging an object in the sky and it is fairly round looking closer at the object of interest we see that the camera is zoomed into such a wide setting that it's difficult for the camera to give us accurate details however with a color shift analysis we do see patterns that are consistent with natural objects. It is important to note, that when a camera operator spots something of interest, it will focus in on the object, which is what we are seeing here, now that the cameraman has zoomed into a medium setting. Then with a closer look at the object of interest, we see a deformation, at the 2 o'clock position. Especially, when we look at just the outline of the object. In this image, we see that the cameraman is fully zoomed in, to a very tight setting. At this point the question is, are we seeing a lens aberration? With this in mind, remember, that these images are being captured from a moving helicopter. So what we do see is natural movement. Absent of any evidence of a lens aberration. Further evidence of this, is the crossfade from the camera feed, to the production studio at KCRA. Here we can still see this image in the crossfade. So what exactly are we looking at? Two planets. The first is Venus in which we see the nighttime side of the planet, as it eclipses the planet Nibiru, where we can see the daylight side of it. To help you understand how we drew this conclusion, let's begin with this planetary alignment, for January 14th, as depicted by the Solar System Scope Program. On that day the Moon is behind the Earth. So we know that it is impossible to say that one of these two objects, could be the Moon. Likewise, given the alignment of Mercury, and its relative size, we can rule out that planet as well. Which brings us to Venus. On this day, it was in an inferior conjunction, directly between the Earth and the Sun. This is why Venus appears as a black disk, as it eclipses Nibiru. To help put this in perspective, 
Let's use this simple illustration of the phases of Venus. Here we see it on January 14th. Because the Sun is directly behind it. What is presented to us on Earth is the night side of Venus. Conversely, were Venus in a superior conjunction on the opposite side of the Sun, we would see its full day side. This brings us to the question. Where exactly was Venus, in relationship to the Sun, during this pre-dawn live helicopter video feed, that aired on January 14th? Here we see that precise alignment with the Starry Night program. Please note, the white line running across the bottom third of the screen. This represents the horizon, as it was seen from Sacramento on that day. And here you see that the Sun was below the horizon at that time. However, Venus which is directly above the Sun that day, was above the horizon. So now let's assemble the various alignments we have into a complete picture. The key to this, is that Venus was directly in front of Earth in an inferior conjunction. As you can see by the illustration here, what we saw of Venus was its night side. To further illustrate the point, let's use this photograph of Venus transiting the Sun. It is a black dot. And the commercial jet also captured in this photograph, is equally black. This is consistent with the Sun being below the horizon, and Venus being directly above it, and the horizon as well. Hence, Venus was accurately videographed, in the live pre-dawn KCRA news broadcast. This brings us to the final question of the analysis. Was Venus eclipsing Nibiru, as our analysis shows? In this KCRA broadcast, two planets were imaged. To understand why one is dark, and one is bright. Let's quickly review what we have learned about the phases of Venus, which applies to any other planet in our solar system as well. When the planet is directly in front of the Sun, before us, we see its night side. And when it is directly behind our Sun, before us, we see its day side. This was the case on January 14th, where Venus is directly in front of the Sun, and Nibiru is directly behind it. But is it really Nibiru? And if it is, would it be possible to find corroborating images, on both accounts? Yes. When we look at the field of view from Sacramento, when that live camera feed was broadcast, the constellation Aquila, was above and to the left of the Sun, with Venus and Nibiru. This is consistent with what we have reported in previous videos during the same relative span of time. Here we see an image by Richard Bullerup, taken on December 13th, in support of his own naked eye observation, which places Nibiru, in the same region of the sky as a published observation, by the Skyview team on October 21st. Note where the constellation Aquila, appears in this region of the sky. Here we have another image of Nibiru. Captured by the Churi Alba webcam on January 13th, which places Nibiru in the same region of the sky, as Richard Bolup's observation on December 13th. And here approximately is where it appears, when we add it to the previous two observations. Once again, note its relationship to the constellation Aquila. Here we have a subsequent image, in support of another naked eye observation of Nibiru, taken by Richard Bolarup, on January 8th. Again, in the same region of the sky. We therefore concluded, that we have evidence, of a clear pattern. But to make this even more complete, we also offer another image of Nibiru, captured by the Turi Alba webcam, on February 12th, which again, places Nibiru in the same region of the sky. Taken altogether, what we have are reliable observations of Nibiru, by three different sources, in the same region of the sky, and once again, we see the constellation Aquila, which is also what we found earlier in our own analysis, of the KCRA observation report. So do the dots connect? Here we see an approximate, pre-dawn position for Nibiru, as it was observed by the live feed, from the KCRA news helicopter. Therefore, what we now have, are reliable observations, from four different sources, for the same exact object, the planet Nibiru. With this in mind let's look at that KCRA broadcast once again so that you the viewer, can compare our findings, with what you now observe, in this live broadcast recording. We are back. Stargazing. It is a celestial rock. Awakening. In space, if you will. Uh, Dirk, D oh, okay, Dirk, what is it? We're all like, it's, it's a planet? Is, is, is it the moon? Actually, what is it? Actually, we've been searching trying to find you in the newsroom, because we know you know. Dirk, what is it? Well, I, that's interesting. I mean, I've been... Yeah. I was, <laughs> <laughs> Is it, is it the moon? I don't know. You'd have to back up. I'd have to be outside to really see, but that looks like a 
point of light. But they, and if it's close to the sun where the sun's coming up, then more than likely that's... Uh, I can't believe that we could see Venus that close. But it is a planet, right, because it's not twinkling, or is that, is that a myth? No, I, I would say that that's a planet, yeah, but... It's Saturn. I, it's hard. Okay, Tamara wants in on this one. It. She's been Googling. <laughs> No, that can't be Saturn unless there's an be. eclipse going on. No, because you don't see Saturn as it, with a chunk taken out of it. Maybe that's the you only see on. You only see the moon uh, that have a chunk like that. And the only other planet that I know of that you see a chunk taken out of it like that would be Venus. Um, because it's on the inside planet. Uh, Saturn and Jupiter, they're all outside planets right. from And this, Earth, friends, so is what it's like that. when you stop by the weather department <laughs> at any moment. Right. These yeah. are the kinds of conversations that but you will stumble into. I need to go outside and see it so Let's I can be sure what I'm looking at. Let's just send you up in the chopper at. so you can investigate properly. How oh, I'd that? love to. I agree. Okay. Okay. Yeah, go up into the KCRA <laughs> <Chicken> Observatory <laughs> and get back to us. Thank you, Dirk. All right. Okay. So, what do you think? Did KCRA drop the ball and expose planet Nibiru? To the public? Is this the beginning of a soft disclosure? Let us know what you have to say. We always want to hear what you think. As always, thank you for watching the WTF files. God bless you all.